Hey guys, I'm taking a break, a little break from the Elder Scrolls Let's Play, as you can tell. Show you, I just got this key, the beta key yesterday, because it's 2 o'clock, and I got it yesterday. But anyway, this is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and we're going to go into a game, and I'm going to show you. I like it, I like it so far, I'm alright at it. It's just, there's a couple aspects I like, that, in source, that I think that they should put in the game. Some of the guns look like toys, but you know, you can get past that and they feel like a real gun. All the maps are back, except I just I don't like how dust looks like a city. But we are in CS Italy. Just called Italy. Just called it that. I'm not sure why. But I'm gonna be on the terrorists this one and It just starts off as a warm-up round at first, for at least, I think, five, not even five, like ten seconds, it's not that much. But then you just delve into the pistol round. I think I might either have to lower my fraps rate, or my frap settings, or my counter-strike settings, because the frames are a little choppy when I'm running fraps. I'm not sure, we'll see what I'll do. I'm gonna pick this guy off. Oh yeah, and the chickens explode in this game. It's pretty funny. Very, it's one of the aspects that make this game actually pretty damn cool. I'm using the Glock. It's this pistol you get. Yep, you see, I'm not that good at this game, so I get my ass handed to me sometimes. But most of the time. Okay. I always start off with a sawed off shotgun. The sawed off shotgun is just god. I love this gun so much. Especially on office, it rips. I'm pretty sure in the close quarter sections of Italy it'll rip too. I haven't used it yet on Italy. In Italy. Not too good. Ooh. Ah, damn it. You just gotta aim for the torso. I wasn't. I was just. I just get nervous a lot in this game. That's what makes me not too good. And yeah, they need to really work on the bots. Not the bots in particular, just not having as many bots in the game that you're in. Now, the AK-47, which is my favorite assault rifle over the M4. Alright. It's awesome. Colin Gary bot. Bot Colin Gary. Bot Colin Gary. <sighs> some things are different is there's some music that plays during the rounds. I keep that quiet sometimes and just turn it off altogether. I don't really like the music too much. But it's definitely a Grammy winner. No. Now, Counter-Strike Global Offensive has four game types. Casual, casual, competitive, the difference between... Whoa. The difference between those being a uh, higher round count and um, diffuse kits and armor are purchasable in competitive mode. There's 30. Um, best of 30 in competitive and best of 10 in casual mode. I play casual a lot more than I do competitive. I haven't played competitive all that much. But then there's arms race, which is gun game. And there's 26 guns you can choose from there. And then you have Demolition, which in British... No. Which is ideally just... It's really just, um... Gun game. It's just kind of like gun game and regular casual mode, in my opinion. You get guns when you advance. 
or like if you get a kill in a round you advance to another gun but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it like at the in the next round you get a new gun and you progress except you can't I don't think you can win if you get all the gun if you got into the highest gun range yet but I'm not sure I haven't played it enough to know Deagle. I like how the Deagle looks gold in this game. I'm pretty sure it might be gold. Stay gold, pony boy. Uh, Johnny. Alright. I remember seeing in a video by uh, Flash Deck Animation called. Ah! Damn it. But anyway, it was called Counter-Strike Global Offensive Trailer, but it was, like, it was animated. Hold on a minute, I'm going to turn the volume down for the game, because I don't think you guys could hear me very well. But anyway, it was about, um, a Global Offensive Trailer, except it was animated. And, um, one of the game modes, it said, was Chicken Diffusal Mode. And, um... I was just thinking, there's a lot of chickens around the map, and I thought that Valve might have just kind of taken inspiration from that. Not even inspiration, just Easter egg or something. Because, let's be honest, that was a pretty popular video. I thought it was funny. Now you see the hostages look different. I think they look kind of creepy and eerie. More like ho a hostage really should look. Guido hostages. And hey, the good old op. The fuck you doing, dumbass? Aim in. Oh, right there. Damn it. So yeah, it's two, two thirty in the morning in the fine Midwest. Gonna buy the op. Yep, two thirty in the fine Midwest AM, and I think I'm gonna go to sleep after this. Oh -ho. Shit. Goddamn bots. I hate them. I prefer regular freaking players to bots. I think that actually looks like one of the guns from Black Ops. Like... It's the Mac 10, but I don't think it looks too much like the Mac 10. It looks more like the PM63, in my opinion. But yeah, I think there's a couple more rounds left, or maybe three. No, there's like four more rounds, I believe. After this, just I'll just head out. And leave. But yeah, it the bullets make more sense. Or. I thought when I was playing Counter-Strike Source that the bullets just kind of came out of that came out of the gun just like went aimlessly everywhere and like didn't go at all where I was aiming and that made me very angry but it kind of makes sense now in this alright alright Abraham Lincoln There's friendly fire in this, but it doesn't really hurt anybody in the beginning of this. Stop. 
stealing all my kills. <clears throat> I love how it's so dramatic when you change the knife from the op. Yep, match point, just like in tennis, except this is Counter-Strike. I love the reload animation for the Deagle. Siento one. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Global Offensive. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode of the Oblivion Let's Play.